Hey, hey everybody, welcome to my channel, all you new people and all you regulars. What's going on? I hope you guys are having a beautiful and blessed week so far. I am excited to give this word from the Lord because <laughs> what a God we serve that he cares enough to, to warn us, that he cares enough to prepare us. Like I, I'm just I'm just thankful that he's so kind and loving and, and understanding that we are just humans that need guidance and so i'm going to be reading from zephaniah uh, chapter 2 and 10 is where i'm starting from um but you guys i'm just i'm just thankful i really am i'm just thankful that god is so kind to us you know because he doesn't have to tell us anything he doesn't have to warn us to get it together like he could just be punishing us, you know what I'm saying? But but he's such a good time <laughs> time. He's such a good God that he gives us time to turn from our wicked ways and surrender and come and be with him who just wants to be our father, protect us, lead us, guide us, and set us on our mission and you know, and eventually return to him in heavenly places and and be with him. So I'm just I'm just thankful and I'm honored. So let's get into the word uh, by first getting into our prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we just we just honor you and we thank you. God, we just thank you that your love is pure and kind, that you don't ever give up on us, but that you keep striving for us, you keep fighting for us, you keep showing up for us, you keep intervening for us when the enemy is coming for our lives and our souls. Even when we are not repenting and we are still in our wicked deeds and sometimes it's simply because we just don't know and we don't get it because the enemy has spent so much time on snatching up everything you've placed in us as far as seeds and, and our way of thinking and our way of lives and he's poisoned it all that we just can't believe you and I pray that you continue to have mercy on those who are still going through the battles still trying to cross over and don't understand father I just thank you for their mercy and I thank you that your mercy will set them free I thank you that your heart is better than our heart that your heart is unconditional and it's loving father and I just thank you that you are giving us a warning and I just pray not just a warning because you're you're, you're telling us what's going on and you're telling us of the remnant what is getting ready to take place so I just thank you that you give words to your prophet father God that you give words to your children so that that we can help prepare the way and prepare the rest of your children and I'm thankful that you even thought and called me worthy to deliver anything that you have given me because I know where I came from and I know who I used to be and I'm just thankful that you delivered me and that you love me enough to keep fighting for me so I'm speaking from what I know and who I know you to be because I understand you didn't have to come for me. So, Father, I also understand you don't have to come for them. And I pray that they understand that this is all love. All the convicting is all love. We are worthy because you called us worthy. We are worthy because Jesus died for us. There's nothing we deserve. There's nothing we can ever do to make you love us. It's just who you are. You just love us. You don't always like what we do, and that's why you help us to change and gave us your word and people to, who are full of wisdom and knowledge who's already paid the price to just give us what they've paid for so we don't have to suffer to the extent that they've suffered from. I pray that we all understand that this is a gift. Your mercy is a gift. Salvation is a gift. Getting to know you is a gift because everyone's not privileged because some people just don't want you but I thank you that you want us and you call us I pray our ears are open and ready to listen to what you're saying and hearing what you're saying and and I pray Father God that our hearts are open to receive what you're saying and that our hearts are good soil Father God that will neutralize and bless the seed that you are getting ready to to download into them like you've downloaded into me 
I thank you for the time and space you've provided for me to deliver this word. And I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, I love you. I give you all the honor, all the glory, all the praises, all the praises, Father God. And I just pray that it's all of you speaking through me and none of me, not my two cents, none of me. Feed them what you have for them and let them eat and fatten their spirits as you fatten mine and continue to do a work in us and continue to grow us. In Jesus' name I pray, amen, amen, and amen. Amen and amen. All right, you guys. So this word was given to me December 9th, 2022 at 5.41 p.m. And we are starting, um, like I said, chapter 2, verses 10. I'm reading from the New American Standard Bible, um, 1995 text. It says, This they will have in return of their pride, because they have taunted and become arrogant against the people of the Lord of hosts. The Lord will be terrifying to them. For he will starve all the gods, lowercase g, y'all, of the earth, and all the coastlands of the nations will bow down to him, every one from his own place. And now I'm reading chapter 2, verses 7. And <laughs> this is. This is the good news, you guys. It says, And the cost will be for the remnant of the house of Judah. And he I highlighted to me, line of Judah, boldness, truth, revelation, boldness. So just listen to this. And the cost will be for the remnant of the house of Judah. Meaning this is what we're going to have. We're going to have boldness, truth, and revelation, you guys. And it says, they will pasture on it, talking about the remnant, in the house of Ascalon. They will lie down at evening, for the Lord their God will care for them and restore their fortunes. I have heard the taunting of Moab and the reviling of the sons of Ammon, or Amen, Amon, <laughs> with which they have taunted my people and become arrogant against their territory. This is nine, I just read eight and seven. Therefore, as I live, declares the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, surely Moab will be like Sodom and the sons of Ammon like Gomorrah, or Ammon, like Gomorrah. I place possessed by needles and nettles and salt pits and a perpetual desolation, the remnant of my people will ponder them, plunder them, and the remainder of my nations will inherit them. And now I'm in chapter 3, verses 12. But I will leave among you a humble and lowly people, and they will take refuge in the name of the Lord. The remnant of Israel will do no wrong and tell no lies, nor will a deceitful tongue be found in their mouths. For they will feed and lie down with no one to make them tremble. <laughs> Praise God, you guys. Okay, 14. Shout for joy, O daughters of Zion. Shout in triumphs, O, Lord, o Israel. Rejoice and exalt with all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away his judgment against you. He has cleared away your enemy. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You will fear disaster no more. <laughs> in that day, and he said now, it will be said to Jerusalem, Do not be afraid, O Zion. Do not let your hands fall limp. The Lord your God is in your midst, a victorious warrior. 
He will exalt over you with joy. He will be quiet in his love. He will rejoice over you with shout, shouts of joy. Behold, I am going to deal with them. I am going to deal at that time, and he said now, with all your oppressors. At that time, and he said to me now, I will bring you, I will bring you, I will bring you in. Even at that time, which is now, I gather you together. Indeed, I will give you realm and praise amongst all the people of the earth when I restore your fortunes even now. That's what he said to me, even now. Before your eyes, says the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. And you guys, all this is saying, and feel free to go back and listen to it as you meditate on it and your spirit grabs it. God is saying he is going to let his judgment fall on the wicked. And that it's time for his children, it's time for his remnant to arise take our position and to not be afraid because judgment has fallen recompense is here and it'll be with a loud noise it will be with a loud noise because he is separating the wicked from his righteous children you guys and God is saying now is the time. He's forgiven us for our sins because we came back, we've repented. And for that, there is a celebration with our names on it. All of us who are in the back are now coming to the fourth front. All of us, all of us who've been spending time with God. Because if you've been spending time with God, what I'm saying to you, you're not just hearing this from the first, like for the first time. This is a confirmation. This is a confirmation because God's already been speaking to you about it. And it might be for some of you who've been warring with it, like, no, it can't be me. It can't be me. He is delivering this message to say it, but it is. It is you. It is you, my child, my prodigal children who were out in the world, went astray, but came back when he called. When he called us, we listened. And so, you guys, that is the word of the Lord. Usually I go talking forever, but that's it. There's nothing to add, nothing to take away. Now is the time. Now is the time. So continue, you guys, to just stay in the presence of God and continue to move at his word. Because it's time. It's time. It's time. So let's close out in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you that you see us, that you care for us, that you called us, and that we're moving forward. Father God, I pray that as we move forward, I pray that your angels are surrounding us, keeping us safe, Father God, ministering to us. And I pray that your Holy Spirit is telling us, go this way and not that way. I pray that the shield, the shield of the Holy Spirit, of the Holy Spirit, Father God, is around us, that he is building up a standard in the presence of our enemies, Father God. I pray for the boldness that we need to go forward and to be in the faces of darkness, Father God, for we are the light, as you said in Isaiah 60, verses 1, Father God, for your light has come and is risen upon us, for your glory has risen upon us, Father God, and and we are your lights, Father God, and we are thankful, we are thankful, we are thankful that you call us worthy. Father God, we will not be afraid, we will not be afraid, we will not be afraid, because we know you now. We know you now. We know you're a God that sits high and looks down low. We know you're sovereign and holy. We know you're faithful for every generation. We know that you are the God that you say you are. We know because 
because you took us out of Egypt. You put us in the wilderness. We've seen you. We felt you. We experienced you, Father God. And nobody can take that. Not even Satan, Father God. And I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of us in this hour. I plead the blood of Jesus over our lives that none of us will be taken by the hands of Satan, by the hands of principalities, by the hands of powers, by the hands of wickedness and dark places, by the hand of the rulers of the darkness of this world, by the hands of our enemies, because you said you've handled them. Father God, I thank you that we will not be afraid, but we will be the ones that they fear. Because you will be upon us and in our lives. It won't be us because we've surrendered. But it will be the spirit of the living God. It will be the Holy Spirit. It will be Jesus that they see. It will not be by our own might, by our power, but by your spirit alone. We will not be people who want the glory. We will not be people who want to take your place. We will not be people who care about ourselves, but we will be people who lay our life down for you, for your glory, for your children. For us to be risen up in this hour, it's not about us. And don't ever let us forget that. Let our hearts truly be humble. Let our hearts truly be in love with you. Father God, I, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for doing a work in us. For pruning us, even when it hurted. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. I pray that each person who listens to this in the word is for them. I pray they get it, that their spirit snatches it up and hold on to it and that Satan won't be able to come and take the word because their spirit snatched it. And Father God, I pray that this word continues to be watered in them and in I as we move forward in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I plead the blood over our future, our calling, our purpose, and our destiny. I pray that our destiny helpers are ready for us. I pray that the world is ready for us. I pray that your people who are attached to our sound are ready for us and ready to take their rightful positions as your children to advance your kingdom, God. All of you, none of us. All of you, none of us. All of you, none of us. And we all say amen in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray amen, amen, and amen. You guys, feel free to comment in agreement with this word. Share it if you feel led to. Subscribe for more of what God has for you with my channel. Those of you who, who feel drawn, those of you who feel like I am for you and that I am your shepherd, Join, join, join. Don't you fight it. I speak to that spirit of rejection. I speak to that abandoned spirit, that spirit of abandonment. I speak to premature death. And I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You guys will fulfill the plans of the Lord. You are called and you are chosen. You are meant and you were designed for this generation. For this generation, rise up. I, I talk to the spirit that is hindering you, that is tormenting you. I speak to it. Get out in the name of Jesus. For the spirit of the Lord is speaking. For the Holy Spirit is upon you. And you will succeed. You are adopted by God. You are chosen by God. You were created by the hands of God. By the finger of God. You belong to God. Turn away from your wicked ways and repent and come back to your father's house and for those of you who need God and haven't fully committed but you've been feeling the pool pray with me pray with me God I am a sinner who's been lost who thought I had it all together but I don't and I need a Lord, I need a Savior, I need a Father who knows me to the depths of my core. I need the Holy Spirit. 
I need you in my life. I cannot do this. And I pretend to act like I know. God, I give my life to you. I repent. I understand and I know by your spirit that Jesus died for my sins. That Jesus is your son. Jesus Christ is your son. He died for me. He went to hell and snatched the keys from Satan for me. And he rose again in three days for me. Because I matter. Because I am worthy. Because you love me. Even when I felt like nobody else did. You fought for my life and I owe it all to you. Father, I accept you as my Lord and my Savior and my Father. Change my life, renew me. Take me from the wicked. Release me from the hands of Satan. So that I may, so that I may inherit your salvation. I want your salvation. I need your salvation. And I need you, God, more than I've ever needed you before. And I submit my ways to you. In Jesus' name, I pray amen and amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. You are chosen, you are called, you are the one. You were made for this hour. I don't know what lies the devil's been telling you, but he's told me many myself. And then God came for me and fought and warred for me so that I could be an example and helpful to free the rest of you. And I pray that your life is forever changed. And you are forever committed and submitted to God. You will see the plans of God. Father God, we ask that your will be done in our lives. And that your kingdom comes and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Even now, in your holiest name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Alright, you guys, that is the word from the Lord <laughs> I'm not even usually crying like this on on the YouTube but all God none of me you guys have a blessed and beautiful day in Jesus' name we pray see you guys bye bye